In science fiction, lasers are cool. In science fact, they'll blow your mind. Happy belated birthday to Charles Hard Towns, who turned 99 in July 2014. Mr. Towns is the inventor of the laser. A laser is light amplification of stimulated emission of radiation. The physics are a little complicated, but in general you can take some atoms of a particular gas, charge them with a particular wavelength of light, and they will emit that same wavelength of light. We can find lasers in technology all over the place, from barcode scanners to cat toys, but that doesn't mean it's boring. In fact, I'm going to bring you five ways that lasers can be used in the future. Number five, a company called No Needles Vinny Puncture is looking to replace needles with lasers for blood collection. Now just imagine you have to give a blood sample and your doctor holds up a device that in one quadrillionth of a second fires a laser and opens a tiny hole in one of your veins. A collection port pulls the blood into a vial and then when it's done, the doctor hits another button, another laser zaps you and closes up the wound. What are the advantages? Well, there's practically no pain involved. You don't have to worry about contamination or infection and there's no healing time because the wound's closed by the laser itself. Number four. You know, it's no secret that we here at Forward Thinking love our 3D printers. We love them big time. But it's also no secret that sometimes this love goes a little astray when a print job doesn't turn out the way you had hoped because of some sort of failure. Some of these can look like a nightmare from HP Lovecraft. And normally you would just have to throw a failed print job away, but students at MIT have found a way to use laser scanners to save these print jobs. You scan the failed job and then compare it to the model that was supposed to print out. It'll compare the two models together and look for the missing pieces in the failed print job, make that a new print job, and the 3D printer will just pick up where it left off. This will save on materials and probably the sanity of 3D printer operators. Number three, metamaterials are awesome. These things have special properties based upon the physical structure of the material. Properties like being immune to microwaves. You could have a solid piece of matter and microwaves would pass through it as if nothing were there. But to do this, you have to build these repeating patterns on the nanoscale and that's really hard to do. Now some researchers at the University of Cambridge have come up with a way of using unfocused laser light as if it were billions of needles with thread, stitching together gold nanoparticles into strings. Now if this process works at a scalable level, we could have a new way to make metamaterials. Cloaking devices are a go. Two, what if I told you you could turn the air into a fiber optic cable? That's pretty much what researchers at the University of Maryland have done. They used a high powered laser to create a dense string of air molecules surrounded by a lower density column of air. By firing a second laser, it could follow this pathway and not lose intensity, essentially the same way you would send a signal through a fiber optic cable. Number one. Okay, I saved my favorite for last. Some researchers with the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory have used lasers to recreate conditions in Jupiter's core. They took synthetic diamonds and then aimed 176 high-powered lasers at it. They flicked a switch, that diamond was history. The lasers created a pressure wave so intense, it vaporized diamond in 10 billionths of a second. Lasers in the future are gonna be used in everything from communication devices to shark headgear. Hmm. And normally this would be the part of the episode where I'd ask you, what's your favorite use of lasers? But instead, I'd like you to fill in the following blank. I want to know how blank will work in the future your answer could become a future episode of Forward Thinking. And in case you need a little more inspiration, check out these videos over here.